obviously this this shows it tests also the elasticity in the shoulder area and and the flexibility internal external rotation if you're really able to like they say in the u.s rip the ball or rip the javelin And uh, you can easily notice that if you have a, a tight shoulder, then the results will also drop. And we all know that uh, already one meter per second dropped with the javelin means five meters. So this is a good test also to, to check the flexibility in, in the shoulder and, and see that you're capable of, of creating those release speeds that you need for the javelin. Uh, yeah, he, he wants to point out that this is only, obviously only one way to test, it's only one, one, one uh, result, but uh, this, when we talk about indicators showing what, how can we, we uh, see if an athlete is, has talent for the javelin, obviously the arm speed is a, a really big factor, and, and even though this is just one part, of being a javelin thrower is a really important part of it. So then we'll move to uh, med ball and shot throws and, uh, and overhead forward throws. Uh, you can measure these with a measuring tape or you can do the same and measure the speeds. And if you, he, he mentioned earlier on the, the 19 meters and 18 meters for uh, men and women as a good standard. And uh, to achieve that, if you want to, to uh, use the speed, speed indicators, you, you're talking about 45 kilometers per hour. All right, we'll change and start with the med ball. Ready? Okay, Milla will, Milla will start throwing. She can, she can throw. Okay. So they will be using using the game and ball and, and well you can I don't know if you can see from from that side but uh, and she has thrown with the measuring tape sixteen and a half meters. Per hour, according to 
Thank you. 
Flexible and elastic upper body throwing power. Now my job is to teach her to throw javelin. She has all the talent to throw far, but now she needs to learn the technical skills. <laughs> 13. <laughs> Does it matter if you use a or a shot? No. Whatever feels better. Yeah. Some prefer to get a closer grip and Try not to rush it. So it's, it's all about building up 
pressure in the hips. You can walk like this forever, it doesn't hurt your back. If you go like this, then it's going to hurt. Here, and then. Anyone want to try? I try everything, so I'll try. Oh, if you want to throw 90 meters, you have to throw 20 meters. Of course you have to. You need a good technical skills, but you need some physical properties also. What the? 2 kilos, so it gives you a good stretch on the, on the chest and, and on the shoulder. So uh, this is quite similar to the overhead forward, so we working on getting strength for the whole core and the upper body and really accelerating through the throw. Everybody knows these uh, medicine ball exercises. I think every throw has done this kind of exercise. Maybe sometimes you don't have the medicine balls, but you have a tire. And you can be creative. So if, if it gets boring throwing those med balls, you can always... <laughs> You know, everyone has a hammer at home, right? Yeah. 
So next uh, we'll have a variation of pole standing. So you're basically imitating the overhead forward throw. Also here you need to have the very strong middle body when you take this ball on your body. <laughs> familiar, familiar exercise for every athlete. But, uh, like Kelsey, we saw the video. Like we saw Kelsey's presentation in using the pants. Same idea. <laughs> You get quite nice stretch over here when you use the bands. Of course you need the strong more of like we have speaking many times here. We can climb the ropes. Also, we can do the same thing in a different way. So there's uh, 70 kilos on there. Drop down, throw middle body, use the size, use the hands. Sort of backside muscles, middle body muscles. So now we have the both legs like this. Next one we put the left leg forward like the pro is position. some pressure on the left leg. Work with the middle body. We can do power exercise in very different ways. Not only lifting the weights. And uh, for the next uh, ex exercise, you can actually come over here because we'll be they'll be showing it in the corner. So uh, this uh, exercise, we've talked a lot about uh, shoulder stability, core stability. So this uh, exercise is for shoulder and core stability. Yeah, we can uh, we can stand in two rows, so we can do uh, some reps, and then we can change those in front, come in the back, and those who are now in the back, get to see as well. Yeah, we can so those who were here in the back, the first step can go in front and watch. I will try a beer if somebody go and do it, but not 
So I, I, if I heard right, Spencer is offering a, offering a beer for anyone who does uh, 10 reps. Be careful. Watch out to show Okay. Thank you, that was perfect. 